Kenneth Eugene Foster Jr. born October 22, 1976, is a prisoner formerly on death row in Texas, convicted under the Texas Law of Parties. At 19 years old, he was convicted of murdering Michael LaHood Jr. on August 15, 1996 at 2.46 a.m., despite not firing a shot. He was driving with three friends, Julius Steen, Mauricio Brown, and Dwayne Dillard, committing some robberies, when Mauricio Brown allegedly exited the car, and shot and killed Michael LaHood Jr. Foster's conviction and execution were contested because he was convicted under the law of parties, not for physically committing the crime. Foster, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, TDCJ, death row number 999232, was received on death row on July 1, 1997. He was initially located in the Ellis Unit, but was transferred to the Allen B. Polunsky Unit, formerly the Terrell Unit, in 1999. Texas Governor Rick Perry commuted the death sentence to 40 years to life imprisonment only six hours before the execution was scheduled to take place on August 30, 2007. Foster will be eligible for parole in 2036. He is currently incarcerated at the Stiles facility of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and is assigned to the facility's administrative segregation. Mauricio Brown, the man who pulled the trigger on Michael LaHood Jr., was executed on July 19, 2006. Rick Perry accepted a recommendation from the State Parole Board and said Thursday he would spare condemned prisoner Kenneth Foster from execution and commute his sentence to life. Foster had been scheduled to die Thursday evening. After carefully considering the facts of this case, along with the recommendation from the Board of Pardons and Paroles, I believe the right and just decision is to commute Foster's sentence from the death penalty to life imprisonment, Perry said in a statement. I am concerned about Texas law that allowed capital murder defendants to be tried simultaneously and it is an issue I think the legislature should examine. The seven-member parole board had voted 6-1 to one to recommend the commutation. Perry did not have to accept the highly unusual recommendation from the board whose members he appoints. Foster's death sentence had drawn protests from death penalty opponents because he was not the actual shooter. Foster was convicted and sentenced under a Texas law that makes non-triggermen equally accountable for a crime. Another condemned man was executed under the same statute earlier this year. Foster has acknowledged that he and his knucklehead friends were up to no good as he drove them around San Antonio in a rental car and robbed at least four people. It was wrong, Foster, 30, said recently from death row. I don't want to downplay that. I was wrong for that. I was too much of a follower. I'm straight up about that. Their robbery spree, while they were all high on alcohol and marijuana, turned deadly when Foster followed Michael LaHood Jr. and his girlfriend to LaHood's home about 2 a.m. August 15, 1996. One of Foster's passengers, Mauricio Brown, demanded LaHood's wallet and car keys, then opened fire when 25-year-old could not produce them. LaHood was fatally shot through the eye. Brown and Foster were tried together and convicted of capital murder. Foster was set to die Thursday evening, 13 months after Brown, 31, was strapped to the same death chamber gurney in Huntsville for lethal injection. Foster's lawyers argue that statements from the other two friends, both now serving life sentences, provide new evidence that supports Foster's claim that he didn't know Brown was going to shoot LaHood. Brown testified at trial that he thought LaHood had a gun, so the shooting was self-defense, though authorities found no other weapon near the body. Foster did not testify. I thought what Brown said was good enough, he later said. Mike Ramos, among the prosecutors in the trial, said he found Foster's claims unbelievable. When you let somebody out of your car with a loaded handgun, what do you expect? Ramos said, adding that he was irritated by a publicity effort to spare Foster. Last weekend, a group of Foster supporters picketed outside an Austin church the governor attends. Ramos said it was clear to him that Foster was the puppet master pulling all the strings during the robbery spree. LaHood's brother Nico LaHood said Wednesday he was frustrated that people were willing to believe only Foster's story. I don't know what dynamics are going on that allow us to make the person who is the wrongdoer to become the victim in this case, LaHood said. His brother, he said, was being lost in the whole thing.